Hi, my name is Mike, and today I'm going to build a power supply for my four Korg Volca units. I previously built a daisy chain style power supply, which just uses the one unit and it uh, splits it off to multiple outputs. Um, but when you plug the second unit in, there's definitely a buzz, and the third unit, the buzz gets uh, much louder. So I'm going to abandon that idea. Instead, I'm going to take four separate wall wart style. Uh, these are 9 volt, 1 amp power supplies. I'm going to crack them open, rehouse them into a, a plastic box, um, which will give me four isolated power sub, uh, outputs that I can power each of my units uh, with clean power uh, without any buzzing. Here are the materials I'll be using for this project. I've got the four power supplies. I've got the four female DC power jacks. These jacks fit the connectors on my power supplies. I've got the one USB power supply, which I'm not 100% sure I can make this fit just yet. Um, I'll be reusing three of the old um, connectors and then one more. This is the correct size for the Korg Volca. If I can get that to focus, it's a 1.7 millimeter by 4 millimeter DC plug um, in the right angle. Um, for the power connection, I've just got this uh, figure eight um, power jack and then the power cord. For the internal um, connections, I'll be using this old extension cord for the high voltage connection connecting each of the power supplies together and to the input. And then I will be housing all of this into this um, little project box. Okay, I'm going to start by uh, cracking open the power supplies and seeing how they all lay out in here. To open the power supplies, I used a hacksaw and I just uh, made a notch on each corner. Um, just in the groove there, I cut a notch big enough that I can get a screwdriver in and then I uh, wiggle in on each corner, crack each corner. Once I was, it did that, I was able to pull the uh, top completely off. And I was able to pull this up. I don't need all of this, so I'm just going to snip all that away. That's the power input right there. Now that I have my four power supplies pulled apart, I'm going to mount them in, into my project box. And then I will mount the USB power supply, probably somewhere in, in like that. The power jack will probably go in right about in there. And then the four female jacks will go right along inside of there and then I'll use the um, wire from the old extension cord to wire each uh, power supply together and then to the power jack all right here on the USB power supply originally the LED was bent facing this direction so it would point out the back of the housing but I just bent the LED around and so now it'll face out the same direction as the USB. I've got the project box all cut. Um, messed up a little bit on the USB part. Originally I was going to have it facing this direction but I didn't account for the height of the, the transformer there so the door wouldn't close. So I had to flip it around. It's going to go that direction. That one go in there. Those all fit in there from the inside. 
using some of the extension cord separate it and strip it and then I'm going to wire them, to, just twist them together and uh, make jumpers between each one of those. I got my wiring all prepped here. Um, this wire, there's one side that's ridged and one side that's smooth, so I'm just going to be consistent, put the ridged side on the right on each one, and uh, then up to my power input. Uh, it really doesn't matter which way I do it because this is a figure eight plug and you can plug it in either direction. So as long as I'm consistent uh, across here, I'll be fine. I've got all the power soldered together. Uh, I found I actually had to separate the wires because it was just too hard to make the bends. Um, so I just pulled them apart. Uh, I just kept all the ridged on the right just to be consistent. Got it connected to the power jack. And now I'm going to um, cut these to length and solder the female jacks onto there. I mounted all the power supplies in here. I just put a, a little drop of hot glue in between each uh, corner and the centers. Um, just holding them all in place. I'll probably put some on the wires as well. Um, and then I'll mount the, the power input. The power input here. I added the, the USB power supply. It'll fold in there, and then these will all fold back around and mount into the holes, and I'll box it all up. Okay, here it is. I'm all done. Got the four power supplies mounted across the bottom. All the power links together to the power input, which also links to the USB power supply. Um, I had to use some hot glue here and here to give that USB power supply some extra support. Now I'm going to make the cable that connects between the power supply and the Korg Volk unit. I'm just using the tail from the power supply and uh, the piece of cable that I purchased that fits into the Korg Volk. Um, each cable has a white stripe which designates positive, so I'm just matching those up. I've trimmed the wires in a kind of a staggered fashion and I'll solder them like that. Um, I've also made sure to add a piece of heat shrink first so then once I solder it all together it'll be one nice smooth piece. I've got that soldered so now I can slide my heat shrink over and heat that up and shrink it down. Now I'll have a pretty smooth junction without a big lump with multiple layers of heat shrink. So I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, so this is my setup. Uh, my new power supply fits nicely tucked under the stand here. Um, pretty small and lightweight. Only one power cord to the wall, which is super nice. Uh, it's powering my SQ1 over USB, and then the uh, four DC outputs are supplying power to my four Korg Volca units. Uh, previously, I was getting a lot of buzzing when I tried to do the daisy chain uh, style of power supply and turn my mixer to max. Uh, that is basically just speaker hiss. There is no more buzzing that uh, happens with uh, linking power supplies together. So I am really happy with it. Thanks for watching.